I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, and we're going to talk today about hyperdilute radius. And what that is is taking radius and then mixing it with a combination of lidocaine and saline. In this case, it's six cc's total, two of lidocaine, four of saline, and then one syringe. So that's 1.5 cc's and six cc's over here. That's four to one. And then we mix it up. So the way we mix it up is we put it into a 10 cc syringe, and then we take another 10 cc syringe and attach it. That's the only really good way that you can get a good mixture. And you do it at least around 10 to 20 times to get a, a good mixture of it. And you only do this right before you start. If you do it way ahead of time, it could settle out and then you need to remix it. So what are we doing hyperdilute radius for? Well, in this case, which is my wife, so that's why we're both unmasked, she has some laxity, and you see when she bends her neck, there's some laxity. So we will often do this alone or in combination with radiofrequency uh, microneedling. Uh, we like the genius for that. What I've marked here are some vessels that you have to be careful with, the anterior and the external jugular vein. So um, you don't want to pierce that or that can lead to more bruising. I choose my entry points along the sternocleidomastoid muscle Okay, so that's here, and you go anterior to that. So I'd like to use the Easy Guide system 22 gauge because it's very dull at its point, so it doesn't cause much trauma to the vessels, and it gets me into the plane. The plane is immediate subcutaneous. If you're not in that plane, then it's not as good. You spread the skin out, and you advance the cannula. Be careful when you inject because it's a very thin product and you don't want to get accumulation of product. And then you fan it in that subcutaneous plane, okay? And I do um, four entry points along the SCM and then I do two medial entry points. So this causes collagen and elastin formation and that's why I prefer it uh, in the neck because the elastin causes tightening. And you see, stretching the skin gets you in that plane really well. How you doing? Do you feel much? Let me tell you, I cannot feel a single thing. This is the most comfortable injection. You put the lidocaine at the cannula entry sites and I could not feel a thing. Very comfortable. So now we're going a little bit lower and stretching the skin out. And you're fanning it. I use a 22 gauge, 50 millimeter cannula. I like the large cannula because it's pretty stiff. Lower, smaller gauge cannulas aren't quite as stiff. And we're almost done with this side here. If you're in the right plane, you should feel some almost like uh, ratchet-like um, resistance, okay? You need to feel a little resistance. If you don't, you're too deep. Spreading the skin is very helpful because it helps you get into that flame. And don't inject too much per pass. We've been doing this for over two years, and we patients love it. And uh, if you do it correctly, there should be minimal downtime, minimal bruising. Make sure you stretch that skin. Now she's had it done once before, so that's why there's a little bit of collagen resistance that I'm hitting.
Still doing good? Mm -hmm. So I want you to see how superficial that cannula is. That's the plane you want to be in, right in there. And you use the other hand to get you over the midline. And if there's a little bit of nodularity, the studies show that that gets better. Uh, it's never permanent. But that's why you use a diluted form so that it gets spread, distributed very well. Again, showing the layer you want to be in. to do this submental area from here. Some people like to do it uh, from here, but I, I feel that I, I can get all that I need to get from this position. And this causes a tightening in this area. Again, this is that plane you want to be in. See, I'm all the way up into the submental area to get that tightening in the submental. So the elastin causes tightening, and the collagen causes tissue thickening. So this is the final steps. I'm in that plane, and I'm in... So that's the trinecta. The whole injection should take five minutes or less. There shouldn't be any bruising, minimal swelling. Afterwards, we go immediately to uh, the RF microneedling, our genius, which is part of our trinecta. And the trinecta consists of hyperdilute radius, genius, and either uh, PRP or lasers or skincare. So that's uh, hyperdilute radius, part of our trinecta for neck rejuvenation with minimal to no downtime. Thank you.